I realized as I was getting ready to do this video that kind of part of the impetus behind this video, aside from me loving Uma as a brand and wanting to sort of do a brand review overview, is that during the month of February, Uma is doing something called the Dare to Bear campaign, and I'll get into the details of that in a minute. The whole point of the Dare to Bear campaign is to go makeup free confidently and <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly not makeup free for this video, but it was like, I kind of thought about that, but then I was like, but it's also Valentine's Day. I knew I wanted to time this video around Valentine's Day. And to me, this is what I think of when I think of Valentine's Day. Like I wanted to wear pink and I wanted to do like a pinky lip. I also couldn't decide if I wanted to do this more kind of like a skincare routine video with a voiceover, but I was like, no, I actually think I want to sit and talk and review and give you sort of like my impressions of the line, but then also show you the things in action. So you will be seeing me barefaced in this video. Don't you worry. I think in the history of La More and La Music, this has never happened, but I actually think I'm having a decent hair day. Normally it's just like complaint, complaint, complaint about my hair, but as I was doing it today, I was like, oh, it's, it actually came together okay, which is funny because I desperately need a trim, but I do think that it looks okay today. <laughs> so I often talk about kind of my favorite skincare brands in the eco-beauty space. I'm forever meaning to do a video on sort of like my top brands in eco-beauty. Uma has been one of my favorite skincare ranges, particularly for their face oils, since I first tried them probably two years ago. Uma started out with only having, I think, three or four face oils in their line. They were in those like elongated frosted brown bottles, and I had a blogger friend give me a sample of the Total Rejuvenation face oil. It was like a love at first use product. In the last two years, Uma has expanded their range significantly. They've gone through a rebrand, so the packaging is completely different. As many of you know, they've partnered with Beauty Heroes, they're carried on Beauty Habit, Barney's or Bloomingdale's, so they've really, you know, pushed forward with the brand, which is amazing. I got to meet Shrankla, who is the founder of Uma. When I was at Indie Beauty Expo over the summer, she's amazing. So my impressions of the brand are, very positive and I've enjoyed also working with the brand from sort of like a blogger perspective. I want to share my thoughts on my experience with the products, give you some reviews, give you kind of my recommendations of what I would try. But before we get into that, I will just give you a few quick details on the Dare to Bear campaign. So the Dare to Bear campaign is about celebrating the skin that we're in and the fact that while we love makeup, we don't necessarily need makeup. Highlighting how Uma can actually help one sort of put their best skin forward, so to speak. Between now and February 22nd, so I realize I probably should have done this video earlier in February, but you still have time. You can post a makeup free selfie on Instagram with the hashtag dare to go bear and make sure, I guess, that you tag Uma in it. And I guess you just have to share a little bit about what going makeup free means to you. And doing that post with the appropriate hashtags and tags enters you to win $150 at umaoils.com. If you are already a user of Uma products and you would like to submit an entry to win $250 to their shop, you can do before and after selfies showing how Uma has actually helped your skin. During the last week of February, they will be picking five winners of the Dare to Go Bear stories and five winners from the results-oriented stories to win those big chunks of money at Uma. So again, all information and everything you need to know will be down in the description bar. Now let's chat a bit about these beautiful products. Just for anybody that doesn't know, Uma is a line that's founded in the ancient principles of Ayurveda. Everything is grown, harvested, processed, produced, packaged on this family estate in India. I think I went into the details of all of that in the Beauty Heroes hair oil, oil review that I did for September. So I want to start with the face oils because I do think that that's sort of the foundation of the line or it was the very first product that they ever came out with. The very first one I ever tried was the Total Rejuvenation Face Oil. After that, I went on to buy one of the little face oil samplers, but I only kept one for myself. And the one I kept for myself was the Beauty Boosting Day Oil. The quick bullet on both of those is that I was obsessed so deeply with both of them. Uma sent me one of their sort of uh, trial starter bundles for 
another formulation that they do, which is a newer addition, I think, and it's the Absolute Anti-Aging Kit. So this came with some other products that I'll talk about, but now I have also tried the Absolute Anti-Aging Face Oil. So this is actually the most expensive face oil in the range, I believe. I don't like it as much as I like Total Rejuvenation and the Beauty Boosting Day Oil. They also do a deeply clarifying face oil and a brightening face oil. I have actually heard the most results-oriented feedback about the daily clarifying face oil, and I think that that one is particularly good for acneic or combo skin types. The Total Rejuvenation is very, very good for uh, normal, dry, m more mature skin types, I think. I think the Beauty Boosting one is good for everybody. And then the Absolute Anti-Aging, I guess, is good for everybody too. The The scent profile of this one is, it's like very peppery and a little bit like intense. It's When I think of this, the scent profile of the Absolute Anti-Aging, it's very biting in a way. It's, it's nice, but it's just quite, um, it has a bit of a sharp edge to it. The Total Rejuvenation, I think that one has like rose in it, so it's a little bit softer, but just feels like it's sort of enveloping your face in like a luxurious cocoon of essential oils. The Beauty Boosting one is sort of uh, lighter in consistency, obviously, because it's a day oil. The one that I saw the most results from personally was the Total Rejuvenation uh, face oil. I would put it on at night and I would wake up in the morning and my skin was just you know, moisturized and even and absolutely beautiful. So of the three that I've tried, that's my favorite. I, I'll probably recap this at the end of the video, but they do do a sample pack of all the face oils in the range. I think it's all of them for $70. And I think that that is my number one recommendation to try the brand of everything that they do. I think sampling their face oils is the way to start with the brand. Okay, face oils done. They also do an eye product, an eye oil. This came in my little set from Uma. It's the Absolute Anti-Aging Eye Oil. I think beyond the fact, which I've talked about before, that I find eye oils in dropper bottles somewhat cumbersome to use. I just prefer these to be in a rollerball application. The consistency of this product is very silky and light. It also has that sort of strong peppery uh, note that I feel permeates all of the absolute anti-aging line. You know, as far as how it performs as an eye product, I think that it's fine. It reminds me sort of of the Lil Fox Kalahari eye serum. It's a very similar consistency. I think I might just be someone personally that prefers more of sort of like a gel or a cream formula for under my eyes as opposed to like a straight oil. But in general, I feel that it's a nice addition to my under eye routine. Then Uma also does three face masks. I have tried two of them. The ultimate brightening face mask came in the Beauty Heroes box as the sidekick. And the Absolute Anti-Aging Face Mask came in my sampler bundle from Uma. They also do a clarifying mask, I think. So all of these masks are clay-based and extremely, extremely beautifully scented, but quite strongly scented with essential oils. My only issue is that I personally, I am normal skin type with a tendency towards dryness and dehydration if my skin gets out of balance. These are not masks that I feel comfortable leaving on my face for more than like 10 minutes because I do feel like they're quite drawing on my skin. That said, I have gotten feedback from people with oilier, oilier or more combo skin types who will whack this on and leave it on for like 45 minutes and it's like bliss to them. That's like me with the Josh Rosebrook Antioxidant Cacao. I'll leave that on for like an hour and it's so recharging to my skin. These are very like fast acting and intense. So. I like to multi-mask with these. I like to do the ultimate brightening face mask whenever I'm getting a little bit of congestion, which will sometimes happen along my jawline. And I'll also do the ultimate brightening around my nose. And then I'll basically do the absolute anti-aging everywhere else, cheeks, um, forehead, 
and I leave it on for about 10 minutes. My skin is kind of really in need of drawing, like getting stuff drawn out if my skin feels congested or it, like it's starting to produce too much oil, I will use these and it gets my skin in check. I would particularly recommend Uma's face masks for people that are, are on the more oily end of the spectrum and you want a mask that's a really beautiful olfactory experience with pretty powerful results. I'll just quickly mention the hair oil because it's one of the standout products from the whole brand for me. However, as you can see, look what happened to my bottle. This happened like last week or two weeks ago and I still had about half the bottle of hair oil in here so I have since decanted it into another container. This is also a moment to showcase how beautiful the bottles of these are. There's this sort of beautiful flower calligraphy on the bottles. This product made it into my Best of Beauty 2016. It is the most beautiful hair oil I have ever tried in my entire life. I think it is absolutely stunning both in performance and the experience of having it in your hair. It's very zingy and also sort of peppery. It has more of a freshness to it that the absolute anti-aging peppery scent doesn't have. I also just find it to really positively contribute to scalp health. I tend to not really waste this on the ends of my hair, but I love doing it as a scalp treatment before I'm going to shampoo. Then Uma has also expanded into some body care and aromatherapy. So they do, I think, just one body oil. I think, let me double check. Yeah, they only do one body oil, the Absolute Anti-Aging Body Oil. A full size of this is $90, and it looks to be about twice the size of the hair oil bottle. It's nice as a body oil, but here's what I'm gonna say about this. You have to really, really like the scent of the oil because it's very strong. It's kind of one of those things, let me see how I can put this. One of the biggest defining features of Uma to me, they're scented with essential oils in such a prominent, unique way that it works to such an advantage in something like a face oil, I think, but for me it works to a slight disadvantage in something like a body oil because it's kind of a little bit too much. I just found that when I used this I was a little bit overwhelmed with Uma. So I find that because they're so potent, I think I like using their products in more sparing ways as a couple drops of face oil or very lightly distributed scalp oil, but as an all, all over body oil, it's not my personal favorite. That said, if you really want the aromatherapy experience, then this is probably really up your alley if you're like nuts about the scent. And then Uma also does some very moderately nicely priced wellness oils that are basically aromatherapy blends. They remind me of something like the Tata Harper aromatherapy blends that she does, although hers are in sort of small roller balls and these are in droppers. So this is the Pure Calm Wellness Oil. They also do a pure bliss, pure energy, pure rest. This I really, really like taking three or four drops of it and massaging it into a kind of like my chest and like kind of around my shoulders at night. So that's sort of been my routine with this. Also ties into why the body oil is a little bit much for me. They're similarly strongly scented, but I like using just like three or four drops of this rubbed in as opposed to an all over body oil. As the name implies, I do find it to be very calming and kind of touching on a point that I brought up in my Osmia body oil review from February Beauty Heroes, using something like this every night is really nice to create that sort of Pavlovian response in the brain that's like, okay, now we're winding down, now we're resting. And because the aromatherapy is so powerful, I feel like it really does create sort of an olfactory memory sensation that's very relaxing to the body and the psyche. Yeah, I really, I really like this. So this is chamomile, vetiver, jasmine, geranium, sandalwood, lavender, and clary sage essential oil in a jojoba oil base. Shoot, I should have mentioned that when I was talking about the face oil formulations, um, the base that they come in, because it's very important. Let me finish with this and then I might return to the face oil. So this size of the wellness oil would retail for $49. They also do do a wellness oil sampler for I think 50. Yes, so the wellness oil trial kits, which come in mini dropper bottles are 45 for all five wellness oils to try. Okay, so something I didn't mention about the face oils that I feel is important is with my favorite 
Uma Face Oil, the Total Rejuvenation. It's in a pomegranate oil base. And I have heard Uma give talks about their products and pomegranate seed oil, I think has one of the smallest like molecules or structures that is able to be absorbed and penetrate the skin the best. I'm so not like really wary, but I just feel like with all the controversy on my channel about people freaking out about things that I say about ingredients, I'm kind of like, God forbid I like misquote or miss say something. Someone's going to have like a complete conniption and meltdown over it. But just what I've heard, pomegranate seed oil is supposed to be really, really excellent for penetrating and moisturizing the skin. The Beauty Boosting Day Oil by Contrast is in a light jojoba oil base. And the Absolute Anti-Aging Oil is also in a pomegranate oil base. Um, Ultimate Brightening is also in a pomegranate oil base. And the Deeply Clarifying Face Oil is actually in a grapeseed oil base. So as I've sort of been mentioning in this video, Uma is great because they have lots of different options for you to try the products before you spend the money on full sizes because they're not inexpensive. A full size of the face oils range from 125 all the way up to 175 so they're definitely an investment. Here's my advice. Go to the Uma website, click on trial kits. The two that I recommend the most are the face oil trial kit for 70, which I just mentioned, and the wellness oil trial kit for 45. The thing with the face oil trial kit is one of those little oils, and you get five of them, one of those little oils will probably last you like a month because the their products are so concentrated and you literally need three drops for like your entire face. So I also wanted to mention Beauty Heroes carries Uma products and if you are a Beauty Heroes member you can always get 15% off in the shop. I know they carry the face oil trial kit, they might also carry the wellness oil trial kit. Uma will often do promos on their site that you wouldn't get through Beauty Heroes so I'm not sure if they are going to be doing a promo around Valentine's Day. I I think that they are where if you spend a certain amount you get like a bundle of three mini oils or something so I'll just have to keep you guys updated at this point there's nothing showing up on their website as a special promo but so you have options with where to order from and so if you are a Beauty Heroes member I personally would go for the 15% off and if you're not I would monitor the Uma site for gift with purchases I guess um, but I'll leave both links down below for your reference. So I guess I feel like I've already sort of told you my favorites. The Total Rejuvenation Face Oil is probably my number one product I've ever tried from them. The hair oil is very, very high up there. The Beauty Boosting Oil I really like and the Wellness Oils I really, really like. I still really want to try the Deeply Clarifying and Ultimate Brightening Face Oils. In fact, I think I'm going to pick up either or both the Wellness Oil sampler and the face oil trial kit, what I've just recommended to all of you, I think I'm going to pick up as well. So I think that's it on Uma. I hope that I did the brand justice and you got sort of a good feel for my experience with the brand and how I feel about it. I think it's just super high quality and really putting a good name and face on Eco Beauty and how powerful and results driven, but also luxurious and pleasurable eco beauty can be. I hope you all will consider entering the Dare to Go Bear campaign. Happy Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day as I've talked about in previous videos, but I hope you're all having an amazing one. It has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you are partnered up or single. We all have love in our lives in so many different forms with people or animals or <laughs> crystals or energy. I mean, Love is really just a vibration and it's not affixed to one thing or person or anything. So I think that's why I love Valentine's Day so much because love really is just such a universal vibration and now I'm starting to blab and get kind of cheesy. My Rose Quartz standing point and I would just like to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and I hope that you have enjoyed hearing about these Uma products. Let me know your favorites in the comments and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in my next video soon. Bye.